I saw a YouTube comment on one of my videos the other day saying, Steezy, how come you only ride big rippers? And truthfully, guys, I'm limited to how many bikes I can fit on, truthfully. If some of you guys didn't know, I'm about six foot five. All right? Like, I can only ride, I can only ride 29 inch bikes. From me i mean i was comfortable on the xl duro but other than that guys i'm only comfortable on a 29 inch bike just due to how tall i am guys much as i would like to have you know a fat ripper a beast mode you know maniac flyer om duro for everyday use and you know my cut up I i'm just not comfortable on those bikes so you guys see a new big ripper or a new fast ripper or a new dub ripper monster ripper on the channel just know your boy can only ride 29 inch bikes so just quick you know not a rant but you know i was just addressing one of the comments that i saw because i know a lot of you guys kind of do get tired of seeing the same bikes on my channel They just redid this whole side of the Palm Beach Island. Looking like a vibe over here, man. They got a little bike trail over there. You know your boy Steve's gonna get some calm clips on the bike trail. I might wait till the homie Rosati comes out here. See if I can have him help me with some filming because it's hard to find a filmer out here. But you see your boy is on um, the Bob Burnish Big Ripper today. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around on this bike today. Show you guys some of the features on it, the colorway, you know, up details of the bike because this bike is clean and it's still clean, guys. I promise you, I haven't been beaten on it. I just been cruising on it right willies here and there but i ain't been cutting on it like i would do my fast stripper or any of my other big rippers guys i'm gonna do a walk around of this bike show you guys some of the up close details that i noticed so as you guys know this is the bob burnish big ripper on the new big rippers you can run fat tires on there i've said this in plenty of videos you guys know this already if you guys can't get your hands on that new monster quad or the new monster ripper or if you guys cannot get your hand on a fat tire bike in general you can just get a big ripper the newer big rippers and you can put fat tires on them and still be able to run your stock brakes or you can upgrade the brakes it's up to you i've had this bike for about almost a week and a half now so yeah guys i've been riding this bike a lot and the bike is completely stock the brakes are stock from me i didn't change the sprocket like i usually do i'll drop that sprocket to a 33 because if you guys didn't know the gear ratio on this bike is a 36 16 so it's a little bit more heavy of a gear ratio but it'll do like this bike is so clean to the point where i don't even want to do anything to it like I, I hit up right out supply saying hey could you make me a sticker kit for this bike but quite honestly guys i don't even know if i want to do anything to this bike just because of how clean this thing is that chrome with the blue and the brown accents yes guys this bike has brown on it as you see we got the brown and blue odi grips brown blue beige pads I mean, the grips are my favorite. I like that brown and blue colorway right there. Got the pads. 
brown and blue seats. Seats are looking a little wear off because I've been riding this bike, as you guys know. And then in the lettering on the landing gear, it may look black on camera, but it's actually brown, guys. It's actually brown. I'm not sure if the outline on the Big Ripper is brown, but as I can see on the lettering on the landing gear on the forks, it's brown. So I think that's a pretty neat touch. We got the Bozak tires, 29 by 2.4. got the SC clouds on the Bozak tire, the blues with the beige wall. We got the chrome wheels. Chrome wheels, guys, as you guys can see. I do need to clean this bike up, polish it. I have some polish at the crib. Also, we got the SC shirt on. You feel me? The SC blue with the brown. And I also got my SC gloves. Let me put these gloves on for you guys so you guys can see. If you guys would like to purchase these gloves, I'll have a link to the gloves in the description down below if they're still available. But if you guys would like to purchase it, I'm pretty sure they're on sebikes.com. See these gloves, man. Skeleton. Skeleton SE Racing gloves. I think SC and Crush gloves collabed on this. Pretty clean design on the gloves. I love them. They fit good. You can use your phone if you need to. But let's get back to the bike. You guys see we got the chrome pedals. You can convert this bike to disc brakes if you would like to as well. So there is clearance to convert the bike to disc brakes. You just gotta know what you're doing. There's plenty of videos on the internet about it. And a lot more companies are starting to make the adapter. If you're looking to buy a good adapter to convert your bike to disc brakes, go ahead and hit up Stack BMX shop. They, they can, uh, you can purchase one from them. That's who I know has one. They actually sent me one. And I was gonna convert this bike to disc brake but I actually have another bike that I'm gonna convert to this brake that you guys don't even know about. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the walk around of this bike. Hey, I know you. <laughs> That's not wobble. Uh, I thought you were gonna keep riding that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Trace. Don't let your own face. Don't let your face. Careful of those stakes. Every day just in case. Ah! <laughs> that would have been nasty. Block boy fame made this shit look easy. I be in Florida around like Steezy. I put them on when I'm watching my TV.